Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, today a TA video on Thursday 27th of April, for all the people in the Netherlands, I wish you an amazing, awesome, huge party, because I think it's King's Day something in the Netherlands at the moment, now, if you're here to watch my video, then look at this beautiful TA on Bitcoin, because there is four amazing charts that you really need to see and one of them is showing you something that i have never seen before in bitcoin now let's quickly jump let's quickly jump into those charts uh, the first chart that we are going to jump into of course you know which one is this one bam Of course, the four hour chart, guys. On the four hour chart, in the last two videos, I told you guys, okay, we are gonna push from 27,200 to 30k, and we are gonna fall back to 28 ish k, and then we are gonna push to 36k. That is what I told you guys. That's also what I posted in my VIP Telegram group. Um, and exactly that happened, only we fell a little bit deeper. So the beautiful long, yeah, it was a massive long, then we had a large wick down again to 27 200 ish back i would have thought 28 would have been holding that level didn't but now we are pushing up again i believe that at the moment we are preparing a push to 36k so that will be a push to the level of somewhere like bam there that's 36k yeah that's 36k i believe we are preparing that kind of a push and that's also why i didn't close my long i am still in my long because i really believe that we're gonna see a massive push push in the next couple of days week uh, which could be beautiful bit for bitcoin and um, the most important thing now is bam over here on the monthly uh, on the weekly sorry uh, that we close this week above 29,500 when we close this week above 29,500 that's a really really positive bullish for bitcoin guys and why is it bullish for bitcoin because then we had a higher high we already had a higher low again which i expected to be lower i thought it would be around the red line but we wasn't it was over here now but if we close above 29,500 uh, above this dotted line that would mean that we have a closing higher than these three there almost as high as these I, I i can't imagine anything more bullish at the moment on the weekly for bitcoin in a sideways movement that we halt that support over here of 28,700 because that would mean that easily these targets up there that, that's the uh, weekly chart guys so every candle is a week uh, are going to be reached that's a 32 there will be resistance and then we will go to that 35 that i told you guys why are these lines there because if i zoom out and look to the left you can see that there is a lot of candles touching these dotted lines over there and that is why these are support or resistance lines and that's why that are my targets at the moment beautifully in bitcoin now on the monthly we zoom out <coughs> we can see the same uh, the month is going to close in three days and 18 hours uh, if we close again at 29,500, ish that would be a beautiful green candle a bullish candle again because we would close a little bit higher somewhere around there so we get a bigger body a smaller wick on the top a longer wick on the bottom uh, which is a, a positive candle for an upward movement again and then we will go to that blue line 33k come probably above it and then close again uh, down below it in my opinion but let's see all exciting this is all guessing the thing that you need to uh, look at the monthly if you want to zoom out is on the bottom over here we can see that that purple line is crossing the yellow line and if you zoom out uh, back in the last two bull runs every time when the purple line crosses that yellow line then the bull run is on the purple line crossing the yellow line the bull run is on the purple line crossing the yellow line the bull run is on the macd on the bottom also turning maybe next month even into green if this month closes positive i think the next month will be a greenish month in the mac d now the thing that is very interesting on bitcoin at the moment is this one over here on this chart guys we can see that this at the moment we need 50 trillion hashes to mine one bitcoin so 50 
trillion hashes to mine one Bitcoin. We've never been that high. That is the difficulty chart in Bitcoin. This is the highest we've ever been. It's not 50, it's 48.7. So I'm seeing 50 because I want it to be 50, <laughs> but it's 48.7 trillion hashes needed um, to mine a Bitcoin. If you don't understand anything of this, I will scroll to the bottom of the page. I really like this page. It's Coin Wars. It's showing you exactly where we are at the moment, um, how many uh, minutes it will take uh, for a block, etc. So it's good, good information. But on the bottom here, this text, you can pause the video, read the text, to understand what Bitcoin difficulty means. So pause it, read it. Now I'm going to jump into the next chart to show you why this is important. The next chart is going to be over. Bam, here. This one is showing you why it is so important. Because this is the Bitcoin average monthly price and difficulty in one chart. Every time when this difficulty went up, this is mostly, you see the bear market, this is the bull run, 2020, uh, 2070 bull market top, bear market, and then the difficulty starts to go up. And then the price, starts to go sideways and then move up bam into the difficulty really cool so at the moment bear market over here difficulty bam going up normally the price should bam go through the difficulty again which would mean if you go look to the left here 80k 80k easily reachable in my opinion because we always go above the difficulty and that is when the difficulty corrects again, you know, and we go up again. But the price has always gone in the bull markets above that difficulty level. So if we want to go above that difficulty level, that would mean above 80K is already a guarantee for the bull market top. If it depends on this chart, guys, now and when is it going to bam happen? Uh, that is what we can see, of course, on this chart. This chart, where is my face? I need to check it again. Oh my God. This chart um, is a glass node chart. Uh, on this chart, you can see the halving effect and the halving effect is important because the halving effect always leads to a massive bull market. And we can see here at the halving, bam, this is the halving effect, which means the supply is a massive dip in the supply because less bitcoins are being mined every day and um, that means when that happens choo, look what the gray line does goes up massively halving effect look what the gray line did massively here halving effect what the green line did massive, massively in one year time we will see another bam halving effect and the gray line will bam massively go up that is why it is important to always um look at the fact when is this halving taking place april 24 april 24 we will see this massive huge purple dip again which means you should be in bitcoin at that moment because that is when the bitcoin price will go up now then i have two more really cool charts bam over this one um, I really like to talk about this chart. Uh, probably you don't know why, but I'm going to tell you, of course, that's my job as a video uh, YouTuber, uh, whatever I know. But look, this chart, why I like this chart, this chart is showing you the Bitcoin price, is showing you the gold price, and it's showing you the SPX. Yes, there's a smile on my face. <laughs> because everybody is talking all the time about uh, so much money is being printed. There's a shitload of money being printed. Yes, the last decade, there was so much money printed as in the previous all decades combined so in the last couple of years we printed a lot of money that is even equal at the money that has been printed in the complete history so yes a shitload of money has been printed we can definitely say a shitload of money has been printed like it has been raining down onto the people a shitload of people a shitload of money and not raining down on the normal people it's been raining down in the pockets of the rich people so that shitload of money rained down in the pockets of the rich people now what did those rich people do with it that's the question because you always follow the money. That's what you always read and see in the movies. You follow the money. Yeah, follow the money. What did that money do that was being printed? I don't think it went into gold or in the SPX in the stocks. Because I didn't see any increase in the stocks. I didn't see any increase in the stocks and gold. Look, these lines are almost horizontal. There is not even a blip up. Nothing. This is not that people that got the money for free bought a shitload of gold or a shitload of SPX because look, it's going sideways. This, this whole market is almost dead in my opinion. It's like, how can you make profit in that? 
The money went into that other thing, that beautiful bars of Bitcoin. Why? Look, bam, Bitcoin, since that money printer started printing, went up with like 10,000%. That is where the money is flowing. And that is what people seem to forget at the moment. They seem to still think that um, the money is flowing in traditional assets as gold, as uh, silver, or um, the SPX. It isn't. It isn't. The money is flowing in Bitcoin. That's why it made 10,000%. So please understand that. And that's very important. And if you understand this, uh, then it's time to go to the next chart. Bam, over here. Because this chart is showing you how many millionaires we have in the world. And it's a lot of millionaires. 55, 56 million millionaires. Where are these millionaires? That's also a good question. Uh, there is a lot of them here. 20 million in the United States. I think those dollars won't be millionaires anymore in a couple of years. Uh, we have a lot of millionaires here in, uh, in, in Germany, Australia. Japan has a lot of millionaires. China has a lot of millionaires. But in total, 56 millionaires in 2020. Now, so that's where the millionaires are. That's the people that are buying Bitcoin, in my opinion. They're not buying stocks and gold because else the price would have increased. Or maybe they don't have a limited supply like Bitcoin so that the price never can increase, only can increase when the government wants the price to increase. But these millionaires, if we have 56 million millionaires, it isn't possible for them to even buy a Bitcoin each. There is only 21 million Bitcoin. There will only be 21 million Bitcoin. And I think 70% of the Bitcoin that is in the market at the moment is in the hands of long-term holders. I think even 74% is in the hands like people like me. I'm not going to sell. You are not going to sell. So who's going to sell to these millionaires that now want to buy a Bitcoin each? They can't. There is only 21 million Bitcoin, but there is 56 millionaires. It's impossible for them all to own one Bitcoin each if you and me and all the other Bitcoiners huddle the Bitcoins for a long time. And bam, that was my complete setup for today. I hope you really enjoy these charts. I hope you really understand now the bigger picture, why it is important to buy Bitcoin, huddle it a long time, because you will be one of the few that has one full Bitcoin. And that is very important. Just think about it. Watch the video again if you don't understand it, because you need to understand this. This is very important, the mining difficulty, the halving, also where the money is flowing. It is very important to understand this, because if you understand this, then you understand the bigger picture, and then you understand why the fuck you should be buying Bitcoin with everything you earn every day. Now, that was everything. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. Bam.